Uh, welcome back to, uh, two best friends, I mean, uh, Tunnel and, and, uh, uh, shit! Welcome Fuck. back to Game Restart Grumps. Restart the episode. Welcome back to fucking Game Grumps. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in the clan, in the, in the tags for this video, too. We're in a fucking Game Grumps mode right now. Blah, 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 I'm Aaron, fart noises. Ah! <laughs> blah, 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 I'm Dan and I smoke weed. You smoke a lot of weed, Dan. <laughs> No, seriously, though. Welcome back to the Metal Gear Recollection. Uh, this is episode six. Focus. I mean, focus. Yeah, I, mean, focus. I fucking I mean, blew his focus. face off. I'm doing really good at blowing these guys' faces off. Okay, don't forget the uniform on the roof. You probably already know. Oh, shit. Well... Oh, fuck. Dude, what the fuck? Pow! I think I blew the thing out of his hand. Nope, he's finally dead. Nope, he's not dead! Jesus! How many 45 rounds to the face can this guy take? A lot. There, he's finally dead. Shit. Okay, well... So you're gonna have to hide that body. Well, people are going to come, so I, there's nothing I can do about it. What's back here? Do you remember what's back there? I have no Was that clue. just another entrance to the fucking... to the area? Yeah, it's another entrance. Okay, I'm gonna do my best to take out as many of these fucking guys as possible. Pa! Except that I'm not doing Ex my best. I'm actually yeah, doing a terrible that job. He's still alive. Well, not anymore. Oh, shit. There's a man. <laughs> Tony, there's a guy. Tony, there's a guy. <laughs> when are we going to do that again? Uh, what, a hardcore run through? No. Or, okay, so now they know there's an intruder, but nobody's seen me yet as far as I know, so I'm actually going to go Back. over here and fucking hide. Now, do you remember what we did the last time we did the LP here? Uh, yes, we're we, supposed to explode the uh, helicopter. Yes, we put the uh, the explosion on the. Uh oh. But Shit. I just remember going nuts. Here. Yeah, we had Thanks. problems. I mean, I'm having problems right now too because they know there's men shooting at them. It would probably be smarter for me to just get on that fucking uh, heavy machine gun there and fire until everyone are dead. Are dead. Are dead. Oh man, there's a man back there, and I'm out of uh, ammunition, or I'm out of suppressor for that. You're going to have to put him to sleep. No big deal. I should. Wow, and I keep equipping shit what? here. I should be able to. Um, I should be able to pick up some suppressors here. Hopefully, uh, there's a weapon here from the looks of it. There's the AK. AK. Perfect. 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 So Granada. this is the first. This is the first building you come across in uh, in this uh, in this game here. I mean, obviously you got that bombed out building from the previous uh, from the previous section there, yes. and while that is technically a building, that's not an occupied used building. That's just a ruin, basically. Yes. Can I see around the corner well enough here? Nope. I can move a little bit more. So this, there's a lot of different types of stealth gameplay, and this game gives you the opportunity to... Yay, some life meds. That'll come in handy. This game gives you the opportunity to exercise a lot of different types of uh, stealth gameplay. Now, when I say stealth gameplay, Tony, what do you what do you think? Oh, man. Swift, silent, deadly. Ha! Well, what I mean is you've got the... You've got, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh man, I got it. Pop! Oh get fuck! Him. Clutch it! Clutch it! Yeah! Oh! Okay, so I go in the building. When you've got stealth gameplay, oh man, Ooh. there's there's still got to be like a guy or some something. No, somewhere the around countdown here. went away. You got all of them. No, no kidding. Okay, good, good, good to know. Good call, bro. Um, okay. so stealth gameplay, you you have several different types of stealth gameplay. You've got the uh, the splinter cell style of stealth gameplay where uh, by stealth they mean that no one has ever seen you, you haven't fired any shots, you haven't actually come into contact with anyone, and you you were literally never there and nothing ever happened, and so you get all the money. Mm -hmm. um, then you have uh, stealth gameplay like what you see in many first-person shooters nowadays, which is brutal murder stealth gameplay. And what mm -hmm. I mean by brutal murder stealth gameplay is the reason that you were stealthy is because you fucking killed everybody so nobody could see you because you were dead or everyone was dead 
Yeah, if there's <laughs> There can't be anyone to notice if there's no one to notice. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's so brutal. So, um, what I always liked about... Uh, there we go, water uniform. Perfect. That'll mm -hmm. come in handy later. What I always That's liked it. about Metal Gear as a series is um, your ability to do both, I guess is is the word I'm looking for. Not yep. both, but it you you could choose how you went about it. Now, granted, the, the, the best way to... Uh, the best way to handle stealth in this game is to never be seen. Is to yep. just straight up never be seen to avoid all the enemies and stuff like that. But that's exactly. hard. The enemy is strictly prohibited. That's hard. I don't want to do it. Yeah, sometimes it is hard. It's really hard. It's very hard, especially in some of the indoor levels. Um, just because the moment they see you, you're in alert mode. Um, mm -hmm. Except for some very specific... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Except for some very specific... Um, instances Maybe. where you're able to grab them the split second they see you. All right, let's Blow it see. up. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and nobody was even alive to see it. So. Was that enough? Yeah, it's 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 exploded. Yeah. Look at that. See oh, it? it is. It's all busted up. So it is. I wish I wish blowing that up would lead to uh, cool gameplay stuff for you in the future. You know what I mean? Yeah. Speaking of cool gameplay stuff, here's your first legitimate boss fight. But imagine, like, if you went through all the peripheral bases. And, and Metal Gear Solid V actually does that to an extent. Where you can sabotage stuff to a certain extent that it'll make gameplay easier for you later on. Um, yeah, so this is the next, uh, camo. You have to kill us a lot using trank guns which i will be doing uh okay. because the animals is good in mountainous terrain which we will eventually get to Spoilers. Wow. <laughs> wow. the boss did his stupid noise shit again come on guys <laughs> everybody come on out <laughs> so the interesting thing is he round and that's where he just came from so they were literally just waiting for him so here's what i want to know if you're if you're a dude bro from Russia and it's your job to stop this shit, why would you set these elaborate traps when clearly I didn't see you? You could have put a bullet in the back of my head and it would have been fine and you would have gotten your your medal of the communist communist yeah. shit and blah blah blah. So setting uh, uh, Ocelot's reputation as a bit of a showboat. Uh, here we have him doing his. Uh, uh, crazy weapon Looking, stuff for the first time yeah. in the game. I mean, you saw him twirling his Makarov and shit earlier on, but here, here he is where he's clearly a fucking Showing gun nut off. weeboo. <laughs> gun nut weeboo? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know, but he's clearly, he's clearly like gotten videos off of the the 1960s not real internet in order to uh, words in order to study and practice stuff like that. So I mean, I guess the the yeah. best way to the best way to describe that is so he so he he's clearly a fanboy, and his fa something his fanboyism will will manifest itself. Um, let's take the thing off of that very soon. Well, it'll ba -ba! Ba! it'll manifest itself um, throughout the series, really. Hey, you took off the fucking silencer. I did take off the silencer, and now Good he's the job. now he's hiding back there. Oh, he's not really hiding. Son of a... Get out of here, or get out of there. So, oh shit, first shot taken. Yeah, we got him. So, um, this is a great boss fight. It's kind of, I don't want to say it's one-sided, but it's kind of annoying in that you're stuck on this crevice and blah 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 but it's really what did you do what did you wait what whoops i missed him oh i keep missing him i was doing so well and i forgot what i was saying because gameplay um it's a really cool boss fight if you think about it because you get to use you can use grenades and stuff in this level very effectively um you can use the environment like I did with shooting down the hornet's nest. It's very, very cool. This also sets up his, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It sets up his, uh, 
uh, yeah. obsession with reloading and dueling. Oh, here comes the duel. Right? So this is cool. Just right in the middle of a boss battle being like, hey, did I say boss fattle? Boss battle. No, you said, you said boss battle. Right in the middle of a boss battle just being like, hey, stop. And then he's going to call draw and I'm going to shoot him. Fuck! He oh! got me. <laughs> you still got him. Still got him. Yeah! So this game rewards you. Um, even though it's not really canon, this game does a really cool job of rewarding you for playing the game non-lethal. Because it gives you the opportunity... Oh man, he's firing from somewhere. Where are you coming? Come on out. No! I keep missing him! No! Right over his shoulder. Must make talkies. Must make talkies for the good don't, LP. Don't forget to heal yourself either. Uh, you're right. And those those beehives are awesome. The beehives are awesome. Them. There's also a Markor back there who's now asleep. Because, you know. Mark, the snake eater? Yes, the snake eater goat. <laughs> the thing that kicked my ass. Okay, so. Boom! Oh, God! Oh, God! It's everywhere. He's, Don't forget to heal yourself. He's not happy about it. That's kind of funny. Where did you go? Where are you, Ocelot? There he is. Ha! Got him. Got him. Got there him. we go. We got oh, him. Hey! It's over. And there's a good boss battle. So you can kind of see I used grenades, I used the, the environment and stuff like that. He never did his reloading stuff out in, uh, he never did his reloading stuff out in the open, which is supposed to be an opening, at which point you're able to kind of take advantage of and, and fight him. Mm -hmm. um, holy shit, that's a lot of bees. bees. Now, um, obviously Ocelot does a good job keeping the bees off of him as well even though you can see they're on him right now. However, what I want to point out about Snake, and I kind of talked about power levels in the earlier levels, is to show you how freakishly strong this guy is. While these guys are being stung to death, Snake is kind of taking some hits, freak. but he's, yeah, he's... Go ahead. He's getting the same treatment. He, to an extent, Ish. he's getting the same uh, treatment, but he's also using a knife to ward off hornets. And it's working. It's working. Also, so how fucking strong that guy is. Of, yeah. Uh, I think he's also got a lot of his body covered, too. I uh, very true. He, his... he has the majority of his body covered. He's got, he's got like a uh, like a bodysuit on underneath his uh, underneath his fatigues, which you can see sticking out through the arms. Yeah. We'll meet again. Um, but here we go. Obviously, someone doesn't want uh, Ocelot to take away their prize here. And uh, Snake is finally getting overwhelmed here, and he's getting kind of pissed off about it. So he just jumps into a fucking cave, because, you know, that's smart. Water. Um, I think in the, the upcoming episodes here, I'm going to start doing some of the... Uh, I'm going to do some of more of the uh, codec calls uh, to get you a little bit more flavor text uh, regarding the people in the background here. Mm. So we just jumped in a cave. First things first, let's, uh, let's do this codec call here. Oh God! Codec. Call, call up Major, Major Hiaro okay. here. Snake. Major. Snake. Uh, Snake. You're not hurt. No, that was a hell of a drop. Mm. That was a hell of a drop, but I'm fine. Back up, though. <laughs> not to mention that he didn't break a single fucking bone. Major Zero. Major Zero, did you know you can just jump into a cave? Did you know you can do that? But now we're in the cave. It's like a maze, Snake. Jesus. Fucking fuck off, you British fuck. Paramedic, have you seen any? Have you seen any Godzilla movies that have to do with caves? Can you t can you tell me about caves? Tell me about the caves, bitch. Powder medic. Where's Signet? Signet, tell me. We actually have to talk to Signet because he is an extremely important character in uh, this game and in the series as a whole. Um, so, as oh, he yeah. just stated, and as you can probably see on the uh, on the uh, the video here, it's very dark here. So I'm going to do my very best to get through this area as quickly as possible. I have a feeling I'll get through it well before the end of this. Like, that'll be the end of the episode, is getting through there. So bear with me. I'm going to do what I can to um, keep as much light on the screen as possible. Um, but... Uh, which there are some interesting ways to do that, but for now, there it, it's just please bear with us. Tony's gonna say um, very 
exciting things about excitement. Yeah, don't forget the uh, snow camo is in here too. The snow camo is in here, which is useful in exactly two areas in this entire fucking game. And one boss fight. Very quickly, let's give Sigint a call. Good old Sigint, the the tech, tech super Sigint. tech guy. Yeah, the '60s era technology tech guy. Uh, he's more than just the '60s era technology tech guy. Believe you well, me. Well, for for here he is. Yeah. Born in 1939. Damn. Um, I want you to keep. I want you to remember that for later. 1969 or 39? 39. 39. 1939. And when I say later, I mean much later. I mean much, much later. Like more later than you'll probably remember, unfortunately. Um, okay. But yeah, not too much I can do about it. So as you guys can see, it is dark. You can barely see what's going on here. So we have thermal goggles we can use to look around for surroundings, which, by the way, while I'm down here, I'm going to be. Uh, collecting a lot of food because there's crab down here and the crab is actually uh some kind of crab battle oh yes we can talk about crab battle in this episode as well um yes. but the crab is some of the best food in the game it's super filling and happy and everybody loves it but we've got this which actually makes it harder to see where you are going or right now we can use the relative light of the uh cigar yeah. to kind of which... see the walls and see where we're going at this point doesn't it drain your health or stamina? Uh, yes, it does drain your... I don't remember if it's health or stamina in this game. I think it's It looks health. like stamina. Ah, oh, shit. Seeing as how we're stuck in menus at this point. Let... Oh. What? Ocelot shot me in the head. That's a good shot. Yeah, that's a great shot. Considering the fact that he was surrounded by bees and half asleep. <laughs> so let's just take the knife and dig it into our skull to dig out the bullet. Bees! But, but hey, we're good. Also, by the way, he's got the... Uh, He's got the cigar in. Now spin him around. No. Do it. We'll save that for later. Right now we need to get out of this forkin' cave. The forkin' cave. Which, to be perfectly honest, I don't remember a fucking thing about. Oh. I don't remember a fucking thing about this cave. I know there's a torch somewhere in this bitch. That can be used to find your way around. Um, I know as you explore it more, you get access to the map... Uh, this is where the grenade is, and I believe the... There should have been. Bullets. There's a shotgun down here somewhere, too. Yeah, once you find the shotgun, keep going straight, and you'll find the snow camo. Let's see. Food cure. Food cure. I want map. Because the map yep. is another way you can use to explore this. So we've been down that path. And so next we want to go back and we want to go on that rightmost path. Though I think the leftmost path will actually get us to the... Uh... Progress. No, it'll actually get us to the torch, which is like underwater or something. And once you get the torch, this area becomes trivial. Um, yes. And it's actually useful later in the game as well. So you know what? I'm actually going to uh, actively pursue the torch uh, very quickly here. Yes. Where? So here what we are the in fuck? water. What's up? Yeah, look at those fucking water physics, bruh. Uh, let's see. Not bad for a cave. No, it looks great. Here's the shotgun. Yes. Oh, no, there's no, the that's torch. torch. Perfect. Okay. So now we can okay. equip our torch. Uh, let's go to backpack here, over to the thermal goggles. I'm actually oh, going to get rid of the... I don't need that. I'm never going to use that. I'm actually going to get rid of the... Where is it? The cigar. And equip the... Fuck, the... Bro. Oh, I'm an idiot. The torch is in the weapons section. Uh... Whoops. Torch. There's the AK. That'll come in handy later, I'm sure. And torch, torch, let's torch, use torch, it. Torch, torch. Yeah, I like how it automatically lights up, too. That is a big difference, ladies and genticles. Genticles? Genticles. All right, I like so it. here we are going on another path, which I believe this one actually goes towards progress as well. What's down there? You see anything down there? You don't want progress. No, I do not Gotta want progress. You're correct. Oh, God! Oh, okay. Battery. It's battery. 47 bullets. What the fuck is that? <clears throat> I went to a special place. Actually, it's not exactly oh. a special place, but it is where I wanted to go under the water. Which, now, you can't really see anything under the water. However, with this, you can see items. Atoms. And the items are what we are Bullet. here for. Bullet. Although none Bullet. of those items are items we need. 
There's also tons of fish in here, and I'm going to show you a really cool way to completely fill up your uh, foodstuffs later in the game. Uh, let's see. Do we see any other items or any other entrances or exits there? I know we just saw the cave entrance there. <coughs> That's where we came from. Let's very quickly check the map. And so there's a path straight down, and then there's a path to the right. And I believe we want the path to the right there. Correct. So we should be able to see it. There we go. Brightly lit. Excellent use of lighting in a video game to tell you where the developer wants you to go. You need to breathe. Which, based on, on developer doctrine I've read, is extremely hard. Mm. Okay, so we've got a ration there. And God damn it, if this looks like it isn't a dead end. And now even I can't see what the fuck I'm doing. Okay, that's where I came from. Uh -huh. Nope, that was a dead end. I'm an idiot. Well, shit. So there was nothing there we needed. Kind of annoying. That's actually a pitfall for a different path that you go on. Where if you fall off, you fall into the water and have to stumble your way around until you can find your way back. Oh god, you're gonna run out of air! Oh man, oh shit, you're right! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Didn't I'm like, even listen to me! I'm like not even thinking about it. I'm like doing, I've oh, got the shit. LP thing going in my brain. Like, okay, shit, where are we gonna go next? What are we gonna do? How are we gonna get you know, Drown. in and out of here? <laughs> What's the next step? Snake is dead. You find the shotgun. Find the shotgun. Find the shotgun. Well, here I am back in the beginning. I think because mm -hmm. I've never missed the shotgun. The shotgun is actually on the the normal path that I take, which is that path right there. Right here. There's a lot of crawling around in this cave, but luckily we have a uh, a torch Perfectly to see Perfectly placed us through, fucking hole. Which you can totally it. just ah. Oh wait. I, <laughs> what? The I was what were you expecting to happen? I was trying to swing it, but instead I put it out. I forgot you can't swing it in first person. You can swing it in uh, third person in normal mode, though. Which yes. ends up working out well because there's bats in here you gotta hit them with. Oh, God. I don't want to fuck with that. Luckily, I have this pistole. You are Ow. dead, sir. Re-equip our torch. And get some good, delicious our snake bee. Our we got our snake bee. Snake. Whoa. Homie. I think. Homie unit. It's the area? Is it? Okay, we've got some serum there. That's the area where we just were. Where? Down there. Underneath the waterfalls. So now here's where we continue on. There's a big open area with some shit going on. Got Mark 22 bullets. AK bullets. 27. And from what I can see, this is just a big open area. Bats. Bug juice. The fuck is bug juice for? Bug juice is for hornets and other things later on. Okay, here oh, we are. We're in the right. second area, so this is where the, uh, this is where the stuff is. Shoot gun. The shoot gun. Yes, this is where we get the shoot gun. Now I'm not gonna leave this area until we have the shotgun, just because we won't be able to come back. Yeah, and the shotgun's very useful. The shotgun is extremely useful. Equip shotgun. <laughs> Which, if you've seen our other LP, isn't actually in the LP, though I reference it. Oh, you know what? It's because I'm hitting the wrong button. But there you go. I can do that and just, like, get the bats away from me. Because otherwise they're going to try to eat me. Uh, must be some hungry ass. Then bats are thirsty. They are actually vampire bats. Ugh. Yeah. Is that why your stamina is so low? No, my stamina is so low because I haven't eaten in a while. Cave Jesus. branch. Uh-oh. I think you just went back. Uh, we shall see. With a little quick view of the map here. Yeah, you just went back. I did go back, but that's okay. <laughs> that's the whole point of this area is to get fucking lost. <laughs> and so far, we're doing that extremely well. In fucking spades. However, we are very close to the end of it and on to the next big, uh, big moment here. Let's check the map again. Yeah, this is the this is the side path I want to go off. This is the correct way. It's honestly not too complicated. There's a couple branching paths and stuff like that, and I probably wasted a lot more time than I should have. There's the shotgun. Ooh, shotgun. Now go straight. Fantastic. Yes. 
Climb the own. There you go. Get down here before the bats eat my goodies. Go into the hole. I am going into the hole. And while I'm in the hole, I'm actually going to pause it and take a nice crunch a munch of some reticulated pathan. Oh, look, really? he's eating it again. Is that because we didn't get the thing before? No, we've seen this before. We're skipping it. But we know it's good. Don't forget those calorie mates are actually delicious. I yes. had one. Um, delicious little sex cookie. It's not. Mm -hmm. It's not an actual sexual cookie. I. Yeah, keep going. There, there it is. is. There it is. We've got the snow Boom. uniform. So this is actually the path less traveled. However, once we go back down to it, we will end up at the end of the cave. Yes. Hey, look. There's a Kenyan mangrove crab. Let's hit it. Aw, oh, damn. I keep forgetting I can't hit with the torch in first person. <laughs> um, so since we're in here and we're in this cave, um, if you want to laugh your tits off, uh, I would recommend pausing this video, opening up another YouTube video, and typing in Metal Gear Solid Crab Battle. It is a little flash animation made by fucking somebody. I don't know who made it. But it involves Snake having an epic battle in the cave with the crab with his knife. It's fantastic. I highly recommend watching it if you want to giggle. Because I know we aren't funny.